Ooh. I need to put a bit more. But yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for long. You guys know I'm not a professional on this thing, right? So I just do it and then I upload it and that's it. But yeah. Hi, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a newbie, please subscribe. If you've been here before, thank you for watching me and hope you enjoy my videos. So I've been gone for a while. By now, if you're watching me, if you've got me on social media, that's Facebook because I don't have any other social media. You would know that I've been pregnant and I've just had my baby. He's, oh my gosh, how will he be? 16 days old today. <laughs> so I... I'm just gonna sit down and do a few sit down videos to take you guys on my journey through pregnancy I didn't do any videos during pregnancy because at times I was depressed I lost weight there's times I gained weight so it wasn't happening in my favor I well I didn't like the journey as much as some people would say oh pregnancy is so nice da -da -da -da. It wasn't that kind of experience for me, so I just didn't want to share it doing it. I just thought that it would be better for me to share it after when I can actually be myself, basically. So, as you can see, as, as I said before, the video today would be my journey to pregnancy. So, from time to time, I'll be looking on the side because I've actually dropped some notes so that I'm not all over the place. Because if you know me, you know I'm crazy. I'm here, there, and everywhere. And I just didn't want the video to be like that. I want it to be smooth. So, if you don't know me, you can have an understanding and follow. So, here goes. So, I will start with how I met my partner. So, basically, um, we used to go to the same church, Sunday school. And I've always seen him. I've always been attracted to him. And <laughs> I remember when we, when whenever the Sunday school teacher is late and they tell me to lead, I would always pick on him because he never walks with the Bible. He never walks with the Testament. So when it's time to read Bible voice verse, I will be like, yeah, you read. And he was like, I don't want to read. He don't have Bible. So I'll say, come and get my Bible. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. And he would be so upset as soon as Sunday school finished, he doesn't talk to anybody. And we used to like give out candies after Sunday school. He would refuse and I'm thinking, well, I'm to he. I'm thinking he'd write better than people. So we happened to live in the same village as well, but he was living down the bottom. And I didn't really know that he was living there. I just always see him. So I decided this afternoon, I'm going to walk behind him to see where he lives. So, ha, <laughs> start a girl so i walked behind him and stuff like that and he, he used to speak to my friend all the time and i was like oh why he don't speak to me he always talked to shanta and stuff like that but anyway i followed behind him and i was walking so i kept saying hey boy hey hey and he's ignoring me walking faster <laughs> so i was like hey you he don't want to answer so i say you think you're nice you think you're nice you're wearing your, your school clothes to Sunday school. I said, you're wearing your school clothes to Sunday school. So he turned around and he said, Girl, um, you like talk. I think he said, you like talk. You see me have my school clothes. I have plenty of them shut here. Some stuff in the city like that. So I was like, okay. So I said, follow me and follow me and him. Then he duck in by where he live. So I went home and I was like, please. He just, you know. But like I said, I was attracted to him. So on mornings now when we were going to school, I realized that he goes to the school next to me as well. So I would see him walking in the front. I would say, wait for me. He would walk faster. <laughs> he would walk faster. So I would say, wait for me. He would walk faster. So I would say, wait for me. He would walk faster. 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 He would walk
walk faster and sometimes I will run and catch up on him and he will ignore me and stuff like that. But yeah, in the end, it happened that I think he was dating somebody. He was dating one girl. So I always used to like trouble him anyway because that, that's me. I, I You don't want to talk to me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I would say I was a bully. I shouldn't say um, possible. I used to bully him. Possible. It's possible. But anyway, so he was talking to one girl. So when he's in his clique, I will come and I would like hit him so that he will run after me. <laughs> and then he, he, he wouldn't bother with me. So one day he hit me back. And his friend said, oh, I'm to you, boy. You can see, deal with the girl good now. Um, it, um, you, you don't know how to do gentle touches. You don't know how to do gentle touches. And he was like, move on me. Move on me, girl. Um, you're crazy. Because to be honest, if you ever knew me when I was going to secondary school or even in school, I was crazy. And I was like a tomboy anyway. So, <laughs> so he was like, you're crazy, you're loud. Because he's the opposite of me. You're crazy, you're loud. Move on me, whatever. So the boy was like, don't bother with him. It's like he like you, but he's scared to take your hand because you and his personality totally different. So I thought, hmm. So he actually liked me. So I said, okay then. So every evening when I pass there, I would still trouble him until he start come around and then he start talk to me and then me and him will walk up the road now to go home. And then that's when he tell me, oh, he have a girlfriend and stuff like that. And I was like, well, I don't really have a boyfriend anyway because my mom said I can have a boyfriend or whatever, but I like you, whatever. But you know what I mean? So he was like, oh yeah. He Everything I said to him, he would say, your name, like, say, say her name is Shireen. So he would say, your name is Shireen, your name is Shireen. So I said, okay. So when he started liking me now, I started saying to him, your name, um, who I was talking to at the time when I was going through no, I, I wasn't talking to nobody what I'm talking about. I was like, um, a name Carol, a name Carol. Then one day, oh gosh, please, hear me calling the people name. Well, yes, anyway. So, so one day he said, oh, you need to stop saying that because the truth is I like you. And I was like, okay, then if you like me, then just say it. So that's how we met. That's how we started. And so we started talking in childhood days. Like I was about 15, I think. Yeah. I was, I was about 15. Yeah, 15 because I finished school, high school. It was when I was finishing school, going into college. So I finished school about 15, going into 16. I turned 16 when I was going to college. So yeah, that's how we met. And since then, we've had a relationship. We've had breakdowns because no relationship is perfect. And in between, I have seen other people. I'm not sure about him. I've never <laughs> had a... Um, I've never had uh like a run-in with any girl during our breakup like when we had this agreement to say that oh she's with him because i always always still kept in touch with him and talked to him so i'd never know about any girl so i don't know if any girl is out there and they were dating him while that was going on i don't know but as i said we always kept in contact and stuff like that and fast forward to maybe 17 years how much years now later we're having a baby so there you have it how we met how long we're together and yes so about pregnancy so he always spoke about pregnancy getting pregnant and having a family but i've always had that thing where i'm like opposive towards it because since i was small i was always like i don't think i want kids i want to be study myself i don't want to have to share what i have with anyone like that kind of selfish behavior i was like that so when my friends would say i want three i would be like me it don't matter if i have kids i don't have to have kids i have an auntie who don't have kids and all all her um nieces and nephews love her anyway so they used to be like so you yeah, want about to take care of you i said no my nieces and nephews don't take care of me because i don't love them like my own and then my mom always used to say like oh like if me and everyone have a conversation about having a baby she would be like oh no yanni don't need no picnic sometimes you get upset yanni don't need no picnic she ain't have nieces and nephews so like during that time he would still be like oh it's unfair that you're gonna listen to your mom and stuff like that and i'm like okay yeah maybe 
then I started going to uni and when I started going to uni I was like definitely not because if you as you know I went to university in the UK and in the UK when you're going to uni and you're on a student visa if you f if you fail you breach any contract during that visa it's like it's almost like it's difficult for you to get a visa renewed so I was thinking if I get pregnant that's a year I'm gonna be, have to be home with the baby so I've missed a year tuition from my university and also I need to pay for visa again so I was like definitely not so I kept saying when I'm finished when I'm finished anyway I finished and then he was like okay now you're finished we should try for a baby but I still was like, I want to do my master's. Then I remember him breaking down and saying, it's so unfair that I stuck by, I stopped by you doing all of this. And you kept saying, oh, when you finish, when you finish, I know you finish, you want to go and start something else. You don't think about me. It's always about you. He was very upset. And I said to him, well, after master's, because I keep saying to him, like, we're here alone. It's me and you. Who's going to look after baby? Who's going to help? It's difficult walking and going to school as well. So I don't want to do it. So he kept saying, oh, Sha, things will fall into place. And I'm like, I don't live my life based on things falling into place. I'm not that kind of person. I like to plan. I'm like a science experiment. I need to say, okay, this is the aim. This is the hypothesis. This is the, you know, I'm not a big science fan. But anyway, I need a plan. So he would say, you're always planning, planning, and your plan falls too. So I'm like, I don't care. At least I have a plan. And that's the most important thing. So he kept going on about that. And then fast forward to two years ago. So no, fast forward to five years ago. So about five years ago, we started having a long distance relationship where he was back in our country and I was here. So still he was talking about pregnancy but i was like no i'm not where i want to be in life as yet so i don't want to get pregnant because things are not the way i want it to be so I'd, i'm not thinking about a child and right now me i'm just having fun enjoying my kids my friends kids and just enjoying london and having fun so i can buy what i want to buy i can do what i want to do and i don't have to be bothered about anyone i was just living my life and having fun to be fair and i was enjoying it it didn't bother me if i don't have kids because like i said i was enjoying my friends kids so we were having long distance relationships so he would come to the uk every december probably for like two and a half weeks three weeks the most and you know how pregnancy goes it doesn't just work like bang you get pregnant when he comes Maybe I'm not ovulating. When he comes, I'm still studying to go out and enjoy with him. I'm not studying or put my body in a place where I'm going to be pregnant. Because with some people, some people get pregnancy, pregnant easily. There's some people who's very difficult to get pregnant. Fortunately, I'm one of them that I'm very difficult to get pregnant. Because my mind is already against it. So I'm not going to allow my body to go through the process and i'm that type of person that because i'm so jumpy with it as soon as we finish doing what we need to do i will jump up because i'm not on that <laughs> i'm not gonna settle myself so i'll probably be up so you know the sperm is not traveling where it needs to go to meet the embryo and all of that but that's how it used to be and then two years ago he came over permanently and then he started talking pregnancy again and i was opposing still because like i was thinking okay get yourself sorted let's sort ourselves out where we're in a financial stable position because i don't want to bring a child into the world where i have to be thinking i need to neglect myself for the child i just find that so old-fashioned and i'm like i tell people who think like that okay if you want to think like that then let your child go back and start playing marble don't buy them a tablet don't give them a smartphone. If you want to live in the old ancient days, like I remember my mom used to be like, oh, I used to have to not have bread so that your brothers could have. What? So how, and I was like, so mom, how you went to work the next day? Because you obviously were hungry. And she was like, oh, well, you have to do sacrifices for your kids. So I already make my mind up. I'm not doing that sacrifice thing. That's not my kind of thing. It's not me and I'm not having it. If it's you, then fine. But for me, I already determined to myself, I'm not going to make that happen to me. So anyway, 
when he finally get himself sorted started his career and everything it became more freely then i stopped my career for a while i put it on hold for a while after things weren't working out at my job i decide you know what i'm not having it my partner is working he would take care of me so i'm gonna stay home so i stayed home for about six months and then after that i found out i was pregnant so when i found out i was pregnant well how i found out i was pregnant let's say so at home i'll be eating and i will be telling my friend like oh you can't cook the food again it's it, the food don't even taste good and she'll be like girl you're crazy you breed and i'm like no you're crazy i am studying and now we're going with that and she's like well i'm telling you because i cook the food the same way i used to cook the food all the time and you keep complaining about the food then i realized i didn't really like chicken then i used to like prawn then i didn't really like prawn so i was like mm. so i'm saying to my friend girl i need to really go and do a pregnancy test now because I don't understand how I don't like in nothing. So we went. I bought a pregnancy test, but I was scared to take it because I knew that if I found out I was pregnant, I would be detrimental. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy one, but I don't know when I'm going to do it. So I bought it and I had it for like two, three days. And then one night, my tongue was just aching. So I decided, let me get up and take this thing because I don't understand why I'm feeling like that. So I took the thing and I saw... One red line, then after a minute, another faded red line. So, oh shit, Jesus Christ. Oh gosh, what am I going to do now? So I said, this can't be real, this can't be real. Let me take another one. Same thing. So I fly out the bathroom, I went to my friend's room, I wake her up. I said, girl, come here. You need to pee on one of the stick to make sure because let me see if this stick reading wrong. So anyway, she, she was like, let me rinse out this cup because me and well, your contaminated thing mixed with mine. So I was like, okay, then rinse it out. But yeah, then she pee on it and one heavy red line comes. So she say, girl, I tell you, read. So I'm like, I start crying immediately. I say, mm, what are you going to do now? So she's like, what do you mean? What are you going to do now? Yeah, I'm going to have unprotected sex. So I'm like, yeah but i never planned this now the little money where i get i forgot to split it with 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 pinkney i ain't ready for that so she was like sha see what see of all the things in the world that you're thinking about you're thinking about having to split your money you ain't even saying like you're happy for your child and i'm like well i've never really wanted it right now so what am i gonna do so she was like you'll be fine tomorrow we go so i said no tomorrow we're going to the walking center and we're going to check it again so i went to the walking center the next day because as i said i was just in disbelief i went to the walking center the next day and the guy looked at me and he said you're pregnant and i was like okay so then he said why don't you not want to keep it and i said to him i'm 32 what am i gonna do i'm gonna get rid of a child at 32 then uh, when am i gonna have a child again no i said no i can't get rid of it <laughs> so then he said so why are you from me and i said i just wasn't ready and i wasn't thinking about it right now and then he was like you'll be fine and stuff like that so we went home but still we bought another pregnancy test we bought one now to say how much weeks <laughs> and we like so we found out i was about 10 weeks and stuff like that so i was scared so i called my brother in the uk and i said to him I have something to tell you and he said what so i said i'm pregnant because he kept saying to me that oh it's something to have a baby in it's something to settle down and have a baby all the money you're spending on clothes and shoes you can put it into looking after a baby and i would keep telling him no and he keeps saying like oh you're selfish so i thought maybe he let me make him the first person i tell because he's gonna be happy so i phoned him up and i said i have something to tell you but i'm scared he said what i said i don't know how you would take it he said you're pregnant i said yeah so he he was like oh well that's good news why are you sad i said so i started crying now i said mm, because i'm scared to tell mommy because i don't know how she would take it because you know mommy don't expect this from me right now she gonna say i ain't the way i'm supposed to be so he said what is wrong with you he said you're 32 you know you're a big woman you know? mommy don't have anything to say or do with that and if even if mommy was to get upset then mommy is out of order so I was like, yeah, but I just feel like if I disappoint her and stuff like that. 
so he was like you'll be fine mommy will get over it even if she disappointed so that's it that's how i got pregnant that's my journey to pregnancy and yes a lot of people were asking if i use medicines no i didn't i was just having unprotected sex <laughs> that's the reality of it i was just having unprotected sex with my partner i didn't use any medicine or anything because i don't like medicines anyway so yeah that was my journey through pregnancy so if you want to see more of how i coped during pregnancy how i dieted how i lost weight how i got my tummy to reach back to a reasonable size where i'm comfortable within 10 days i think not even 10 days i was maybe seven days i was down to a tummy that i was comfortable with and wearing my old jeans pants all over again so if you want to see any of that stay tuned watch my channel subscribe if you haven't and enjoy being with me so i'll see you next time